And now with about $100 million already disbursed for the reconstruction of the National Theatre Igomu, Lagos, the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emifili, has disclosed that the project will still require another $100 million from the body of bank chief uh, executive officers and also the CBN, which is also known as the Bankers uh, Committee, expressing delight at the level of work going on the edifice. Mr. Emiofili also notes that it is going to be a business where the monies will be released again. Addressing journalists during an inspection tour of the pro progress as at the work site at the National Theatre on Saturday, the Apex Bank Governor explained to the project which will be commissioned later in November, is aimed at repositioning the country's entertainment sector and provide space for youths to thrive through the, creative, uh, through the creative industry. Meanwhile, the Lagos State Governor, Babajide Somolu, who expressed optimism, says the development will further help Nigeria to dip in its gross domestic product and continue to de-emphasize oil as the only source of revenue. We are doing a total rejuvenation of Lagos State by really redeveloping this masterpiece right at the center, at the center of Lagos that will be linked with the rails and all that to make sure this works. For avoidance of doubt, this project is costing the bankers' committee by, by our last estimate about $100 million. And I must, I must say that yes, $100 million is about $100 million or more will be invested in this project but it is going to be business. Business where the monies will be realized again. And I'm happy that foreign investors are already showing interest, and I want to place it on record, that we, are, we have received inquiries even from the United States, from investors who have said that they are interested in taking a, taking a look at not just the National Arts Theater, but also the creative opportunities that, are, that, is being, that, that we are developing um, uh, around here. Really grateful. You know, we're grateful to Mr. President, you know, who is a lead visionary, you know, and who I said, you know, I'm always very passionate, you know, about, about, you know, the creative industry, the youth, and let's do something. And so what all of this is about is still about creating that enabling environment. This whole project will not, will not do everything. You know, there's still going to be a whole lot more in the years ahead that people still need to do. But we're breaking all the barriers, we're breaking all of the challenges that we have, you know, and we're writing, you know, um, this industry, this sector, we're writing their names in gold. We're still very hopeful that we are going to, the, national, the, 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 the new National Theatre will host the global conference, United Nations, World Trade Organization, sometimes in November this year, and also some other global events. Uh, from what you see, you will not appreciate half of what has gone on. I think we have crossed the Rubicon, and uh, by the time we come back, say in two months' time, uh, we will all see that a lot of work has been buried under. Once again, I want.